Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, just checking, I'm here, yes, I think I'm all good, um, okay, so welcome, welcome, oh, how are you doing, I hope you've been enjoying the Angel Cafe, I've been kind of having to binge watch after you know, getting the, you know, going in the day and then at night time, just, oh, I'm going to listen, this, this, this. And there's so many just amazing, amazing speakers. Um, so thank you, uh, Ashling, as always, for bringing this together. Uh, so I'm Deborah. Um, I think I've only missed one Angel Cafe since the beginning, since it started. So it's really, really gorgeous to be here again um, this year. Um, and talking about something completely different, something new that's coming into my work, which is very exciting. So, um, yes, Deborah, so I'm Deborah, Deborah Kilby, and I am a soul journey healer, a spirit baby medium, a channel, and um, author of Rose's Choice. Healing the Wounds of the Mother, a journey into the world of the spirit baby and how we can build a new earth together. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I work with two different strands, if you like. Uh, I work the healer's journey, so we're all healers. Uh, if we're healing ourselves, we're all healers. So I support uh, mostly women, but also men in their healing journey around soul plan readings and things like that. And just what's, you know, to open to who they are. Uh, so I see energy, read energy, hear energy, um, and I'm able to access your your soul, your soul's plan and your planning room and have like a conversation. I see it like a movie, you know, why you were here, why you've chosen to come, what's your motivations uh, to be here, what's your purpose, you know, what's the challenges. So really just seeing your soul energy. Um, uh, and opening you and aligning you to your soul journey. We are all living our soul's plan, whether we're aware of it or not. So a soul plan, uh, which forms part of my um, healing work, if you like, is always, um, uh, yeah, it just brings it all to the fore. You're already living it. So when you like, oh, now it makes sense. Now you can embrace it, embody it, and fully kind of live in that flow of your soul's plan. So that's my soul journey part. I'm also a spirit baby medium. So um, most of my work is around supporting women who are uh, wishing to conceive, uh, often challenging journeys to motherhood, um, who've experienced baby loss, um, um, or birth trauma. So um, I yeah connect with the beautiful spirit baby. So it's all life. My work is really all life before life. Uh, it's connecting in with the pre self and the pre life. Um, um, and order to birth, we're all birthing a new earth in our own unique way. So that's really the the bigger picture of my work is kind of birthing this new consciousness, uh, whether our more of ourselves consciousness. Um, that's lying kind of buried under some layers of stuff or birthing new life, new consciousness. So the mother's journey is one strand of my work, the healer's journey, the other strand of my work. So um, Ashling, actually a uh, huge gratitude to Ashling who set me on that journey, the motherhood journey, because she was saying, it's with the babies, you're going to be working with the babies. It's about the baby journey. I'm like, no, 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 absolutely not. Uh, you know, things are just too close sometimes or when you know it's your soul's kind of purpose, for some reason we resist that. We're like, oh no, I'm not ready to step into that. No, definitely not. So there's the resistance, but Ashlyn kept sort of nudging. And then I went on a retreat um, with Ashlyn and I can see, oh yeah, beautiful Marie here. We, we all met there in Ireland and had the most incredible experience with the babies, spirit babies, um, that were the grief around the spirit babies, uh, around the mother and baby homes. And that's when I really start opening up to spirit baby communication. So thank you to Ashling for that. And also on the last Angel Cafe, so much magic happens. Uh, you'll find the right speakers for you. Um, and um, I happen to have a card reading and Ashling said, it's like, uh, she said, I see you becoming a soul plan teacher. And I was like, no, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not there. That usual resistance. And of course, I am now a qualified soul plan teacher, so I can, you know, if you, uh, for, so I can train practitioners uh, as part of their expanding of their healing work as well. Um, so yes, lots of magic happening in here. Okay, so that's that's me. 
Um, oh, and I can see the comments, gorgeous. So thank you, welcome. Amanda, Owen, Janine, Angie, gorgeous. Marlene, thank you. Muriel, gorgeous. Thank you, welcome, welcome. Okay, so yes, talking about something completely different. I've done soul planning here. I've done divine mother stuff within the Angel Cafe. And today I'm introducing you to these fabulous soul plan oracle cards. Okay, so um, I've always wanted to get my hands on these cards. And um, Blue Marsden, who is the founder of Soul Plan, um, and also Soul Transformation Therapy, which is these cards. I kept saying, can I just have the cards? Can I just have the cards? I know I need the cards. He's like, no, you have to do this thing. So uh, doing the Soul Plan Teacher Training, I was able to um, uh, then get my hands onto these amazing cards that I've wanted for, I don't know, at least four or five years. Um, and now I know why, because when I went to do the uh, to do the training with Blue and receive the cards, the moment I was handed the cards, I had this moment because I very, you know, we were all tuned into energy and I just felt this, oh, the whole room went still, the energy shifted and it was the energy of Divine Mother. OK, so um, my own soul uh, destiny, my soul purpose energy is Divine Mother, so I'm very connected in with those, with that energy. And Divine Mother kind of swept in, and I just heard, knew, oh, you will be using these cards to identify that very original root pattern of separation. So if you get your head around the fact we all came from this one you know, this one thing, nothingness, we are, you know, as the babies say, um, do not be scared of being nothing. It means you are a no thing, which means you are everything. Okay, so we're afraid of being nothing when actually being nothing is being everything. Um, so if you imagine we're all from this, this like oneness or this bliss energy or neutral or whichever, you know, this source energy. And then we became us like we became conscious of ourselves so what that you know what did you make that mean about yourself so some of you know what i'm including into all of my work now uh, my package work long-term work is identifying your original root pattern of separation so how did you feel how did you experience your pre-self coming into being and these cards, there's 22 energies of creation in the system. We experience all of them because we are, of course, whole. Um, but we choose to experience some in a more intense way. Anyone who's had a soul plan reading with me will know what I'm talking about there. But there's seven polarities. <clears throat> so when we're talking about how do you, what's that root pattern of separation? How how you know we're all coming back into oneness this is what we're doing we're healing ourselves to come back into a sense of oneness back into a sense of wholeness healing that separation so if we're looking at that very root root pattern of separation how did we experience that what did we make that mean as a soul so did we experience it as uh, this is a polarity life and death so did we experience it like a huge loss like oh, i was in this place and then I wasn't, and it just, I, I'm never, I'm just going to always feel like this grief or feeling lost. Like, I don't know where I am. Like, I was there and now I'm here. So that's one potential polarity. Another one is this mastery, slavery. Um, did it feel like someone else was making that decision? Something or someone else had that power of you. I didn't have a say. I wanted to stay there. I didn't want to feel this sense of self. I wanted to stay there. I didn't want to feel this separation. I wanted to stay in that wholeness. I didn't have a say. Someone else had a choice. So it could be that uh, polarity that you were uh, experiencing or choosing to experience. Um, another one is beauty to ugliness. That's another polarity. Uh, so perhaps seeing it as like, oh, this beautiful place I'm in and suddenly you're separate, you're feeling yourself, you know, n not as part of that wholeness and oneness and you're thinking of yourself as oh, nothing is ever going to be quite so beautiful again. So you're always searching for the beauty or you're always seeing, um, you know, less, less beautiful things and feeling less beautiful about yourself uh, or less whole in yourself because you know you've got that separation. That's another polarity. 
Another one is, of course, wealth and poverty, all about self-worth and this sense of, well, maybe I was kicked out. Maybe I just wasn't worthy enough to be in source. Maybe I wasn't worthy enough to be in that wholeness. So nothing I do is ever going to be, uh, I'm never going to be worthy enough to get back to that sense of wholeness. So we're always chasing self-worth. We're always chasing that because because we're in that pattern of separation right from the very, very beginning of time. Um, so we want to heal that root if that is part of that separation pattern. Another polarity we may experience is peace and war. Did it feel like a peaceful transition into yourself or did it feel like a conflict? Like, I don't want to go. Well, you're making me go or you're taking something from me. And so there's always drama in your life or there's always a conflict coming up somewhere. And life just, you know, feels like this kind of, you know, like the waves, like the water move, you know, it's moving and sometimes it's tranquil and sometimes it's, you know, really stormy, but are you trying to chase that sense of peace again? Because it felt like a like a, a conflict, inner conflict of, I don't want to be here. Okay. Another polarity is um, uh, fertility and, um, in, so fertility, infertility. So this is not necessarily a physical fertility thing. It's more like, um, uh, tr it's trust actually it's based on trust so this is about feeling abandoned so um, when you're in source you're feeling fully abundant like you've got access to all of the abundance you're in this abundance imagine coming into your separation into your sense of self and feeling oh well where's my abundance or how can I or uh, have I been abandoned Has, have I been abandoned by source um, how can I trust myself again because I was in this amazing place and I made a decision and now I'm not in there anymore or I was in this amazing place and they've kicked me out so they've left me I feel abandoned so is that a root pattern of separation and the final polarity is foolishness uh, to wisdom and this could be around oh I got it wrong I made the wrong mis I made the wrong choice and now I'm not there anymore uh, and always feeling like I've got something wrong or I don't know what I'm you know, I, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not clever enough, or I'm going to make the wrong decision, and this fear of kind of getting it wrong to grow. So those are the polarities of these cards, um, and just tuning into, you know, maybe which which is that root pattern? Because why is this related to money? Because of course, source is money. Um, money is source. And if we're separated from ourselves or separated from source and we have these patterns going on, then we're going to feel separate. It's going to play out in all aspects of our lives. And I never forget when I was chat, you know, when I first started channeling and I was receiving these messages from source about the world or individual messages for people or about from the elements, you know, just just. Uh, you know amazing messages from from source or creator god you know however whatever term you want to use and i went i asked god i was starting to feel like really oh, should i be doing this uh am i allowed and you know and and can i uh you know can i charge for this so i went to source and i said can i charge money for your messages that's why i asked and the instant reply was i am money Okay, so when we are connected with source, source is our source of everything, source of money. We are our source of everything. So when we're connected, um, money will flow. So that's kind of my first golden nugget, actually. Uh, we As speakers, we're asked to put a golden nugget in, and that's my goal. You know, I am money, source is money, you are money. Okay, so money is just an energy. And my other golden nugget, whereas I'm on there before I forget, before we go into the healing, is, um, you know, we can, obviously I work in the realm of motherhood and a lot of what I see is we, we're projecting our own childhood wounds from our parents, from our teachers, from authorities, of what, who we think are in authority, we can project those wounds into all of our aspects. So we can project this onto money and we can project when we're asking, you know, we've been, a lot of speakers said, you know, you've got to ask, as Ashley said in the opening session, we've got to ask, just ask, we don't ask enough. But when we're asking, we can go into child mode and we can feel like we're asking our parents for that toy or that ice cream or that, you know, whatever it was. And, and there wasn't always an, a yes, you can have that. So to come out of your child and stop seeing source, 
the angels, money, anything as you as the child and they as the parent. So stop projecting your parent wounds um, onto when you're asking for something. Um, it's like, oh, am I good enough? Have I been a good girl uh, enough to get this? It's not, you know, we've got to come out of those parent wounds. So healing your parent wounds is really, really key to receiving. Okay. So those are my golden nuggets. I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so the polarities. Did any of them stand out for you? Just think, oh, am I always feeling lost or like I'm feeling grief? Do I feel this unworthiness? Like, oh, I'm not worthy to be here. Um, or do you feel this abandonment in different aspects? So just being curious about that. And of course, it will be all individual to you. But what the pattern that I'll be healing today is specifically your, you know, your own kind of incarnation journey is your own incarnation journey. So we won't be doing the healing on that today. But the healing for that uh, is being taken up with Divine Mother back into your, back into the kind of the, the nothingness. Uh, for you to feel your own coming into being, to feel your own choice. Um, and when all this was happening, you know, and I was being taken up into pre-self and, you know, creation, basically creation by Divine Mother, um, I would always turn to my book and ask Rosa, like, what do I need to know what's happening? And she took me to... Um, the chapter where I was talking about the creation of the universe... And I remember channeling this and going, this is all very interesting, but what's it got to do with our book? What's it got to do with babies? What's it got to do with, you know, is the, it was, you know, and who, I'm never going to share this because who am I to talk about creation? Okay, uh, five years after that, I, I've written, I have put it in the book because we grow and we expand and we gain in our sense of self and confidence in uh, and what we're, what we're sharing and what we're here to do. But what she said was, and this is why it's also related to money, uh, what she said was, as with all of life, until you understand the root of that life or the root of that pain, then how will you ever alter that root to change and to grow and see it to pluck it out altogether if that's what needs to happen? This will be the basis for so much more than your book. So getting to the root of creation, which is what I was channeling from her and going, why having a tantrum pretty much like, why, what's this got to do with anything? Um, is getting to the root. And so with these cards, you get to the root. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, we're going to look at, so obviously it can't be an individual thing, but separation is such a common thing, but with money. And I'm going to, you know, really with money, it's about receiving. Uh, it's not necessarily money. It's about receiving and how we are to receiving. So I'm going to, I have put the intention in that we identify a polarity to what's holding us back from receiving. And this is receiving money, clients, love, uh, you know, all forms of abundance. So really it's a receiving wound. Okay, so I'm going to identify the polarity. Then I'm going to look at all the rest of these lovely cards or what's the energy within that. Then we're going to heal that pattern all in 10 minutes. Okay, so let's be quick. Um, and I haven't looked at any comments. I hope all that was making sense for now. Ah, oh, Janine, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And hi, Bernie. Yeah, so... Rushing through incarnation. Here we go. So I'm going to choose, first of all, the polarity card, which is going to be a collective healing. So what's um, a root pattern of separation around abundance? Okay, so uh, this one, of course, mastery slavery. So this is feeling that someone else has power over us. Or you might be the person that feels they have power over everyone else. You know, it can be a manip you know, it can be in a manipulative en energy. So you may be holding this energy or you may, which I feel is most likely is like oh, something is more powerful than me. Something has, a, you know, is outside of you who, who, and you know, how you receive abundance. It feels outside of you. It feels like someone else is in control of that, um, so you're feeling more like the slave energy. 
um, rather than the mastery energy of this is, you know, this is what I'm, this is who I, I, I am the creator. I am the creator. It feels like this is outside of you um, and that you don't have a, and that you don't have a say. So let me just intuitively feel like what's this got to do with abundance? Okay, so it feels, so when I intuitively feel, it's like this good girl energy. I'm the good girl and I will, you know, I'm here to serve. So particularly when you're light workers, you have this idea that you're here to serve. You have come in to serve, but that does not mean being of service. Okay, as in, uh, you know, especially in the UK, this idea of, um, oh, I'm in service. So you're, you're literally the slave girl. Um, the... Um, you know, I'm, I, I can't ask for anything else because I've chosen or I've asked to come into this world. I've been asked to come into this world or I've chosen to come in to help, to serve. Therefore, I can't ask for anything myself. OK, so this is a root pattern for our collective here is um, I'm just here to help. I'm here to serve. Therefore, I don't feel like I can. I'm here to serve the greater good. Therefore, I can't ask for anything myself. You've kind of forgotten that actually you are part of that, serve, you know, serving. You're serving yourself. And how much more impact will you have when you are serving yourself? Okay, so just checking in on that energy for, your, for yourselves. Um, do you feel like you have that going on? Um, oh, yeah, I'm here to serve. That means I'm you're 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 lower you're here to serve you don't deserve to be lifted or don't deserve to have abundance but of course when you're in abundance you have much more you're you're making much more impact um okay so now let's have a look at the energy within that Yeah, it's very much like I'm just seeing an image of we're all like, like kind of on bended knee and bowing down. And yeah, I'm offering my service. Um, so you're giving your power away to something or someone. And that could be a king. It could be, a, a you know, a, a priest or bishop or something, you know, religious wise um, authority. So it's like, yeah, there's an authority that's got more power. It could be handing over to God but you are co-creating with this so it's like this is the pattern we're healing now to come out of the separation to feel you um, are able to serve and be served okay so the energy within okay and we're coming back into connection so this is the energy within that polarity that we're healing so this is pure connection with soul Okay, so being able to connect directly with your soul. All right, so we're going to have five minutes for the healing, but that's okay. That's okay. So is any of that um, uh, resonating with anyone? So feeling, oh, I'm here to serve, therefore I don't deserve, or I'm not allowed, or I'm not included in that because I'm just pure service. Um and you know because i'm connected to my soul because of this because of that i'm just not abundant you know I, there's a separation between you and abundance okay so the um so when i look at the polarity and the energy the pattern of separation is abundance issues so how it's so cool so the pattern that we are healing is abundance issues and of course this is what this whole angel cafe is about abundance issues so uh yes we are going to heal that right now in the next five minutes i know i can talk a lot so i've probably gone over with the talking but i hope that does that make sense okay lovely all right so let's heal this root pattern this feeling of i've i'm of service i've been asked to come and i've chosen to come because i want to help the greater good but you've forgotten about yourself you're just here of service you're not allowed to receive uh because you're here to give all right so just taking a moment taking a breath 
and we weren't going to a full grounding because the full time but you are all more than capable you are doing this for yourselves just ground to say ground and i've already opened the space we're in our beautiful divine pyramid of light and today it was emerald green which is very much of the heart and of course money so it's beautiful this beautiful emerald green energy pouring down the sides of this pyramid we're all in the center of this pyramid and beautiful emerald green energy in diamond form or pyramid form coming up from the earth as above so below and all your guides and angels working with you and through you and the energy of divine mother so just feeling the energy of divine mother so this energy is like a big hug coming around outside the entire uh, pyramid or diamond now as we've got above and below so just feeling just inviting in divine mother just feeling the energy of divine mother right wrapping around you from behind in the biggest of biggest hugs just it's like power energy and it's like she's got her arms around you and she is lifting you up 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 so feeling yourself being lifted up in it's just so strong just feeling this huge embrace like it's massive all around you huge energy taking you up 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 all the way up 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 way beyond the sky way up into the cosmos feeling yourself up into the cosmos and as you're with divine mother in the cosmos just feeling yourself as a star shining in the cosmos and divine mother pointing out all the other stars the planets just how you are in connection how you are them a whole part a separate whole part of the whole and just feeling this connection with the whole of the cosmos and just feeling your uh, lighting up as a star within and feeling your own star energy lighting up within you and as that star energy as you become that star and the star forms all around you and Divine Mother beginning to spin you, turn you, counterclockwise. Turning you counterclockwise. And just imagine all those, there's stars and balls of light that are kind of a bit in your space. And these are all your limiting beliefs, your vows. And just feeling those cords and hooks and anything attached, any lights that feel too close to in your space. And just feel all those cords of attachment and Divine Mother spinning you. And you're turning in your star of light, turning, turning, turning. And know as you turn in your mind, I now choose to balance ties and end vows with anybody or anything that was holding me in limitation. I break and rescind all vows of limitation and ask that any and all restrictions that have blocked me in my expression be let go of right now. I choose to let go of any doubts or limiting beliefs about my capability to contribute to life and to manifest the most fulfilling and joyful expression of my soul's plan. And just spin, and as you know you're spinning, this clearing and disconnecting, limiting beliefs, cords, negative connections, guilt, doubt, and trauma from negative present or past life experiences. And spinning, just let the star spin. And as you're spinning, just feeling this vortex, the awareness up through your mind, through your crown, and feeling this vortex directly up to source, directly up, up, up into the light. And commanding 
that all beliefs around service, anything you have programmed yourself with, or allowed yourself to be programmed with around receiving. I can't receive because I'm serving. I'm here of service only. Let me just check in on the beliefs. Just feel into that feeling of service. I can't receive because I'm in service. I choose to let these go now. I choose to know what it feels like to receive. I'm safe to receive. I give myself permission to receive. I'm worthy of receiving. I am the master of my own receiving. Thank you, it's done, it's done, it's done, and so it is. And just feel this, as that star energy begins slowing down and all those cords and all those other lights and things moving out of your space and Divine Mother quickly turning you now clockwise and feeling all of that star energy going into that place where you feel a contraction around receiving and just bringing in all that energy, that star energy of yours into that place in your body where you felt a contraction around receiving. Oh, I just feel that moving all through your body and just gently breathing, coming back down. Divine Mother bringing you back down into the chair, into the space you're in, into the here and now. And Divine Mother, just feeling this like real energy of power going right into your root chakra. It's like she's opening up your root chakra and feeling a rush of energy into your root chakra, receiving abundance, the earth, the energy of abundance from the earth, opening up your energy of abundance. You're here to live, embrace all things in all ways. Okay, so feeling this power, this even this red energy kind of, whew, okay. You're ready to get out into the world and do your thing. Receiving and giving is not two separate energies. As you give, you receive, as you receive, you give. It's a cycle. So you are just in your power cycle now. I feel this power energy. Okay, thank you. I'm over time. Oh my gosh. All right, thank you. I'm sorry, Ashling. I'm over time. I hope everyone was all good with that and I will catch up on your comments. Um, so there's two meditations that you can listen to. Uh, I've put the links in the description and of course the Tree Sisters, our beautiful, beautiful trees and that amazing charity. So if you've enjoyed any of these sessions, please do donate there. Lots and lots of love. Be in touch. Take care. Bye.